Welcome to Truck Dispatcher Training. In this video, we're going to discuss some of the most common logistics terms used in the trucking industry. So understanding these terminologies is crucial for your success as a dispatcher in this field. So pay close attention and let's dive right in. Let's start off by talking about some of the key players in the logistics field. So we'll start by talking about shippers. So shippers are entities that need their goods transported. They could be manufacturers, warehouses, or even small stores. Next, you have receivers, uh, or sometimes known as the consignees. These are the entities receiving the goods shipped. So like shippers, they can be also be warehouses, uh, stores, or distribution centers. Next, you've got freight brokers. Um, so freight brokers are the middleman between shippers and carriers. They typically find carriers to haul loads for their customers, and their customers tend to be the shipper in most cases. So the motor carriers um, are the transportation companies that actually move the freight uh, for these uh, shippers. So they need to be registered with the FMCSA and have an active MC authority in order to be considered a motor carrier and uh, have the right to move freight across state lines. So next, um, let's talk about dispatchers and that's you. So you're the bridge between carriers and brokers booking loads and maximizing revenue for your carriers. So you're pretty much working on behalf of your carrier um, and you're typically on the call with brokers negotiating on loads and trying to book loads and you know doing all the paperwork necessary to book the loads. Let's talk about factoring companies. So they play a vital role in the trucking finance. So a factoring company buys a carrier's unpaid invoices for a fee and typically that's one to five percent of the uh, invoice. So they advance the remaining amount to the carrier usually within one or two days. Uh, this is crucial for cash flow as brokers often take 30 to 45 days to pay. So carriers use factoring uh, to avoid waiting for broker payments. Uh, bro sometimes brokers do offer quick pay, but often at a higher cost than actually working through a factoring company. So as a dispatcher, it's beneficial if your carrier uses a factoring company. You won't have to handle any invoicing. It just ensures quicker payment for your carrier. Uh, and if your carrier doesn't use a factoring company, you might need to handle accounts receivable, which could mean extra work for you um, as a dispatcher. So next up, you've got low boards. Now, low boards uh, is basically an essential tool for any dispatcher as well as brokers. So a low board is an online marketplace that connects shippers, brokers um, with carriers. It allows brokers to post available loads and carriers to find freight. Carriers can also post their available trucks to attract brokers. So as a dispatcher, you'll be spending a lot of time on low boards finding freight for your carriers. So they're crucial for maximizing earnings and keeping trucks full. Um, I have a video uh, on where I go into detail what a low board is. So if you want to get more information on that, you can watch that video. So next up, uh, we'll talk about uh, what a carrier packet is. So a carrier packet is basically an agreement between um, the broker and the carrier. And as a dispatcher, you're going to be the one filling out those carrier packets for your clients. Typically, this is done one time for each broker. So once you fill it out one time, you don't really have to fill it out again unless there are certain things that need to be updated, uh, such, such as insurance, things like that. Next up, you've got rate confirmations. And rate confirmation, this, these are documents uh, basically confirming the load, and it contains all the necessary details for transport, like pickup locations, delivery locations, what the load is paying, and all the other details. Um, I've got another video uh, that goes into detail on what a rate confirmation is and what it looks like, so you can watch that video if you want more information on wh what exactly a rate confirmation looks like and what it is in more detail. Um, next up, you've got a notice of assignment, and this is basically a document used when a carrier works with a factoring company. So it's basically just stating um, that the payment 
that a broker makes to the carrier needs to be made to a factoring company instead because the carrier is using a factoring company for their invoices. So that's pretty much what a notice of assignment is. Now, next up, you've got bill of lading. Uh, bill of lading is basically provided by the shipper, uh, sometimes by the broker, and you'd have to print it if it's provided by the broker. But basically, it's a document that includes all the load details. Um, and when it's signed by a receiver, so basically once the load is delivered, you provide the bill of lading to the receiver and they sign it. Once they sign it, that bill of lading is now considered a POD, which is basically short for proof of delivery. Then uh, you've got drop and hook, and that's when a carrier picks up or drops off a preloaded trailer. Um, then you've got safety rating. Uh, safety rating is basically a publicly accessible records of a carrier's safe driving history evaluated by the FMCSA. So if a carrier gets pulled over, they get violations and stuff, that would show on their safety rating. And a lot of brokers will go on this website to check if the carrier is a safe driver or if they have a lot of violations and sometimes if the safety rating is not good a lot of brokers won't work with that carrier so as a dispatcher you want to make sure that your carrier has a good safety rating or else it's going to be very difficult for you as a dispatcher to book freight for them next up you've got hours of service um, and hours of service is basically regulations uh, limiting driving time to ensure drivers alertness and safety so as a dispatcher, you need to be aware of your driver's available hours. I know that was a lot of information. The video is a little bit short. Uh, I'll try to make a bit more detailed videos on each of these terms. Uh, but basically, mastering these terms will set you up f to be a successful dispatcher. So remember, the industry is always evolving. So you got to keep learning and you got to stay up to date on the latest trends and regulations. And these are just some of the most common terms that you need to be familiar with. So if you found this video helpful, uh, give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe for more dispatching insights and more videos like this.